congratulations to Rose Fausta, and I guess with a lot of cheerleading support from husband Marvin Fausta, on this double book, Why Financial Education Alone Doesn't Work, and The Psychology of Money. The main focus of the book is that behavioral economics, which really point to how humans react to their environment and different stimuli, actually determine choices that we make. And of course, these include choices that affect our economic and financial well-being. The field is not new, but has only become more popular lately as economic models have been found lacking in explaining what's going on. It's interesting to note that the, the Nobel Prize in Economics has now been awarded to six individuals whose work are considered seminal in the behavioral economics field. The book mentions Professor Richard Thaler, who is the most recent recipient of the award in this field. As a graduate student, I first heard of Herbert Simon's bounded rationality focus and later read about Gary Becker's comments on consumer behavior. What caught my eye, and probably the public at large, was a book written by another Nobel laureate, Daniel Kahneman, about a decade ago. It was called Thinking Fast and Slow and was a New York Times bestseller. He was awarded the Nobel Prize with his colleague Amos Tversky. They talked about anchoring bias, and what was fascinating was that these two were trained psychologists, not economists. One of my favorite authors, Michael Lewis, wrote about this partnership in a book called The Undoing Project. In the last few years, we've listened to Robert Schiller talk about the effects on asset prices and volatility. He made the term irrational exuberance popular. I'm sure you're familiar with the Cape Schiller Index if you follow the US stock market. So how do all of these relate to Rose's double book? First, Rose explains a number of the concepts driving behavioral economics, not in theoretical mumbo jumbo, but rather citing a lot of easy to follow and day-to-day -day examples. They're easy to relate to, and therefore the concepts are understandable. Second, by tying these into the reader's own behavior, she helps you discover if you are, a, and I quote, a rational Mac, or to an emotional imam. Determining such would assist individuals understand why they do certain things, and perhaps even modify certain behaviors for the better. I know she asked me to take the ME test, but I haven't had the time. In addition, I've only taken tests recently if my job depended on it. However, Perhaps you can guess which category I fall into. Again, congratulations on the book launch and best of luck in reaching a wide number of people. Thank you.